Hey, beloved saints, uh, it's good to see you again. Um, you know, last night after the prayer meeting, I sent out the sad news of the, the death of Norman, uh, a friend of, of mine and of many of you. I subsequently heard of the death of John J. Murray, minister of the Free Church Continuing and a longtime contributor and editor of Banner of Truth. And both of these men were uh, leaders as well as beloved figures in our circles and will be greatly missed. Now, in God's providence, last night was also uh, my time to send out a quarterly communication to the military unit I serve in Germany. So I thought I would just share what I sent to them. I'll just read from that. To the warriors of Naval Special Warfare Unit 2, I'm glad to have the opportunity to send something out to you. Uh, these are unparalleled times, and we should not think that God is silent in them. If you're anything like me, your first response to the pandemic was probably nonchalance. Nice to have some time off. Hope they don't cancel something, well, insert trip, school, or event that you were looking forward to. Yet, I have to say that my attitude has changed dramatically in recent days. Earlier this very day, two of my friends and colleagues died from COVID-19 in different UK cities. They were both believers, and I'm fully assured that they are now in a far better place. But just the way that it happened, such a rapid escalation from mild symptoms to ventilator to death is a terrible reminder of the uncertainty of this life. This thing definitely has my full attention now. Someone told me that the Lord is shaking us, and perhaps so. Perhaps he is shaking us all from the superficial and temporary things in order that we might lay hold of things that are real and eternal. Isaiah 28, 16 says, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will never be shaken. A sure foundation and precious cornerstone is Christ. And for my two friends, nothing could shake them from that foundation. They knew death a passageway to eternal life with him. So it was for Special Operations Chief Adam Brown. Read the book Fearless when you get a chance. And Special Operator Second Class Ryan Job. How I wish that we'd all have such a firm foundation for our lives. So if this thing is starting to shake you, why not take the opportunity to lay hold of what is sure and everlasting? Those who believe have this powerful assurance he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. We all have a little more time on our hands to talk in these days. So please get in contact. May the Lord keep you safe and well until we meet again. And of course, I would say all the more to you, beloved saints, that um, uh, we do have time. And please do get in contact as I Make the rounds electronically, but um, I, I certainly uh, mean also for you to get in contact with me. And we pray together as we mourn the loss of these men and um, we prepare perhaps uh, for the dark days that still lie ahead. May the Lord uh, show to us that uh, he is our helper, that he will never leave nor forsake us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, so you have made this declaration to us. So you have given to us such wonderful open promises as the gospel, that he who believes in this foundation, in this cornerstone, he who comes to Christ for refuge will be saved, come what may. And so, Lord, as the world is being shaken in these days, we ask, Lord, that we would firm and increase our grip on the Lord Jesus Christ, laying hold with both of our arms and faith. And Lord, that we would know that you are with us in the dark times and that, Lord, you will certainly uphold us even through the valley of the shadow of death. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. See you next time.